everybody, today I'm going to read you The Selfish Crocodile. I hope you're sitting comfortably, we're about to begin. Deep in the forest in the river lived a large crocodile. He was a very selfish crocodile. He didn't want any other creature to drink or bathe in his river. He thought it was his river. Every day he shouted to the creatures of the forest, Stay away from my river! It's my river! If you come in my river, I'll eat you! He's got sharp teeth, hasn't he? Looks a bit scary. So over there were no fish, no tadpoles, no frogs, no crabs, no crayfish in the river. All were afraid of the selfish crocodile. The forest creatures kept away from the river as well. Whenever they were thirsty, they went for miles to drink in other rivers and streams. All the other animals are going for a long walk to get a drink. They can't drink from the, the river closest to them because the crocodile wants it all to himself. It's not very kind, is it? Every day the crocodile lay in his great big bank at the sun picking his big sharp teeth with a stick. But early one morning the forest was awakened by a loud groaning sound. Something was in terrible pain. The creature thought it was an animal caught by the crocodile. But as the sun came out brightly, they saw that it was a crocodile who was in pain. He was lying on the big back holding his swollen jaw, and he was crying with real tears. The creatures drew closer, but not too close. Some of the creatures felt sorry for the crocodile. What's the matter with him? asked a deer. I don't know, said a squirrel. Maybe he's going to die, chirped a bird. If that happens, we'll be safe to go in the river, grunted a wild pig. The animals thought about this. They hung from the branches, they hung from the vines, they buzzed in the air and they shook their heads as they watched a great big crocodile in pain. No animal tried to help. Suddenly a little mouse appeared, mm -hmm. sniffing the air. He ran along the crocodile's tail, then onto his tummy, and the other creatures stared. What do you think a mouse is going to do? Maybe you can tell somebody at home. What is that little mouse going to do to the crocodile? Look at that mouse, chattered the monkey. He's either brave or mad. He's going to be eaten for sure, said the iguana. The mouse crept along the crocodile's big neck and into his open mouth. There was a hush in the forest. Where's he going? I wouldn't want to go between those teeth, would you? It looks sharp and scary. The mouse got hold of something and pulled and pulled and then he put it on his shoulder and walked out the crocodile's mouth. There was a loud cheer from the astonished creatures. The crocodile sat up and said, I don't feel any pain anymore. It's all gone. Then he saw the mouse walking down his tummy carrying an enormous crocodile tooth on his shoulder. Maybe the crocodile had toothache. That's why he was crying. Your bad tooth was giving you toothache, answered the mouse, turning around to face the now smiling crocodile. Do you want it back? Uh, oh, no, 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 get rid of it. And when you've done that, come back. I have a present for you. The mouse went and buried the bad tooth under a tree, and when he returned, the crocodile had a nice juicy nut waiting for him. As the crocodile watched the mouse eat her nut, he said, You're very clever, get rid of my toothache, and kind too. I'm so grateful. But what shall I do if my toothache comes back? Don't worry, I'll help you take care of your teeth, answered the mouse, nibbling. Soon the crocodile and the mouse were best of friends. And one day the crocodile sent all the animals an invitation. Please come to drink and bathe in the river. I won't hurt you. The river belongs to us all. The creatures weren't afraid to drink and bathe in the river anymore. Although the crocodile was sometimes snappy, they grew to love him. 
and soon the river was full of fish and tadpoles and crabs and crayfish. All the animals returned to the river. And look, there's always lovely animals we've talked about in our story. Four leaf clover, our story is over. Today we've read The Selfish Crocodile. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. See you soon.